All right, take a moment and look at this equation we have above us. Y equals one half cosine X minus one. That minus one's freaking me out. That hasn't fit in any of the places that we saw before, so something else is happening here. And you're right. So let's, let's, let's unpack this and let's get an idea of what's happening here. So let, let's do the things we do know first. Why not start there? That makes sense, doesn't it? So we know that our amplitude is one half. So let's go ahead and draw our one half markers on here. I'll label this as a positive one half and a negative one half. So we have our amplitudes defined. Our period uh, right there, it's, undef or it's, it's a one. So we know that we have a normal two pi period. So we'll put down zero and we'll put down two pi. We know that we want to take its period and divide it into four equal sections because every section something unique is happening. So let's divide it into four sections. And we label those if we want. So there's our four basic sections, which are marked by five points on the graph. And so now I can go ahead and graph, generally, the, the graph one half cosine x. And let's do that. Where I have a minimum there, maximums there, and so forth. All right. Now, what does this negative one do? Well, that negative one gives us a vertical shift. So we either take the entire graph and shift it up one or negative one, depending on what the value is. And in this particular case, it's a value of negative one. So I take my entire graph and I just shift it down one. So I'm gonna have now as its starting point, this point, which is a positive one half, now this point becomes a negative one half. Uh, this point, which was at zero, now it comes down here at negative one. This point right here was originally a negative one half. So now we're gonna make this point down at a negative one. So we're just taking every point and shifting it down one unit. All right, let's see how I can graph this a little bit here because I got some of my points all off. Let's, let's do this, folks. Let's extend this graph. Let's make this out, out of one and make this at a negative one, negative one and one half. So it starts here. I have a minimum right there. All right, I, I tried my best there, but I hope you get the idea of what was going on. It was taking this graph and just shifting it down one unit. And that's how we can deal with some vertical shifting uh, in our graph that we have. And again, it could shift down or it could shift up, all depending on what that value is as well. Now in this graph, you may, see, you may see some phase shifting. This one did not have any phase shifting or any constricting along the x-axis as well. But we could find those also in these particular problems.